Thank you very much, and I would like to uh, give the floor to Prime Minister Yakin Aligoshvili. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellencies, um, the ambassadors, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm exceptionally pleased to be addressing you here today, and thank you, Georgi, for organizing this uh, meeting. I think this is really important for us. Uh, and as uh, uh, Georgi mentioned, uh, today's meeting aims uh, to take stock of recent economic trends of Georgia and the role of FDI to discuss projects in the pipeline and uh, to lay out the government's vision on how to secure a stable, more stable and flourishing economic future for our country. Um, the ambassadors, their friends, a variety of uh, platforms exist to discuss political and social issues. But today, as we're joined uh, by representatives of the private sector, the international uh, organization and consulting companies, our discussions will be specifically dedicated uh, to economic trends and cooperation. You already know that Georgia is a unique country. It has a unique culture, history, and uh, heritage. But above all, it is unique in its resilience and ability to make the best out of a given situation. And this statement is true for the economy as well. Today, Georgia is a fundamentally different country uh, from what it was 20 years ago, or 10 years ago, or even two years ago. And um, despite the obvious challenges, every day is marked by significant uh, progress and new milestones. And these milestones ensure that uh, we stay on track towards uh, meeting our ongoing objectives of uh, strong uh, democratic institutions and rule of law, better infrastructure, a dynamic e economy, and ultimately European and Euro-Atlantic uh, integration. Today, I'd like to share our current position with you, but also to share some of the challenges we still face. Uh, and, and also want to present our ideas on how these challenges uh, could be addressed or could be overcome. Uh, to briefly update you on the uh, current economic and FDI trends, uh, we present one of the most investment-friendly environments in the world. Uh, the World Bank ranks Georgia 15th globally for its ease in doing business, making it uh, one of the top glo global economies for starting and operating a business. Uh, the Heritage Foundation ranks Georgia as the 22nd freest economy in the world. According to the trace metrics, a global business bribery risk index. Georgia is the 11th least business bribery prone country among 197 countries. As a result of signing the DCFT and, European, uh, and uh, with the uh, European Union and association agreement, we now have a duty-free access to, the, to a market of 900 million in consumers. Uh, and this is a great achievement for this country, for uh, those who um, have business here in Georgia, and of course, it is a better chance to integrate our economy with global markets and supply chains. We're progressively taking on, in, on our uh, natural role of regional hub, the new Baku Tbilisi Cars Railway uh, line, the Anakna Deep Sea uh, Port, and joint efforts together with our partners to revitalize the historic Silk Road will undoubtedly further strengthen our country's transit role. Uh, 2015, so this year marked the entrance of the first cargo train from China to Tbilisi uh, with a travel time of just nine days uh, compared to 45 days by sea. Uh, the numbers speak uh, for themselves and uh, clearly show the immense potential of the uh, New Silk Road uh, project. Uh, for this purpose, I'm going to uh, hold uh, an international forum, Tbilisi uh, Silk Road Forum, this autumn in October. So, um, and uh, I hope that many heads of governments and heads of states will attend this uh, international forum. So these are just a few of the many key ongoing, uh, I would say, uh, projects here in Georgia. A number of uh, promising projects are also in the pipeline or in all key sectors of Georgia's economy. And these include renewable energy, agriculture, uh, and food processing, hospitality and real estate, manufacturing, and uh, logistics. Uh, all these developments, of course, draw an optimistic uh, a picture for the next few years. But however, as such opportunities do not come without challenges, uh, which we also need to, uh, you know, uh, address. So firstly, I want to tell you that we all know that still the difficulties uh, in the region, uh, recent turmoil in Eastern Europe, 
has considerably uh, impacted on Georgia, developments in Ukraine and Russia, as well as the global strengthening of the US dollar, which has affected the Georgian currency as well, uh, present considerable challenges for us as well, which we need to tackle. Secondly, we understand that Georgia is privileged to be host to so many major international projects uh, and to have the trust of global businesses. Uh, these businesses bring, bring uh, knowledge and top-notch expertise to our country, but we need to be uh, prepared for, to push our workforce to be uh, even more educated, to be more skilled and uh, available in order to uh, stay competitive and keep up with the uh, increasing demand. My government is fully committed to encouraging this pro process, but the major challenge uh, is time. And thirdly, strengthening institutions and ensuring the rule of law. So to achieve unwavering stability, we need to have more efficient, more effective institutions, better regulation, and effective service providers in the government. Uh, this will benefit all citizens in our country. So drawing on this, allow me to lay out the key aspects of our vision for economic development. How can we solve our problems? How can we get Georgia to a better place? And how can we push for growth? First, uh, reform is a top priority, as it is generally uh, known. Uh, they must be sustainable and responsible. Uh, we do not uh, only aim for short-term uh, or good positions, uh, short-term results or good positions in international rankings, uh, even though these are very important for us. But we aim to introduce the kind of reforms which will have a direct impact on people's welfare. And this is our top priority. We have already carried out a number of uh, successful reforms oh, to the legal system, uh, penitentiary system, protection of private and intellectual property rights, and healthcare. And we have successfully stimulated the agriculture uh, sector. And this is just the beginning. Our major challenge is, of course, uh, unemployment and poverty. Uh, whatever we do, we always need to keep in mind this uh, crucial factor. The need to reduce unemployment, create more jobs. The unemployment rate has um, uh, decreased from 14.6% in 2013 to 12.4% in 2014. But of course, this is too far too, far too high. So foreign direct investments plays a crucial role in tackling the challenges. Unemployment, so for better or worse, uh, uh, faced with a lack of uh, natural resources, the only one way for our country to survive and to emerge successfully and rapidly is FDI. So this is a reality that Georgia will surely face for at least the next 30 or 40 years. Now, why FDI? Because in addition to capital, it brings in uh, much needed know-how and expertise I mentioned earlier and creates real jobs. Uh, we, the government, do not want to be the biggest employer in the country. Uh, Georgia's economic model has to be about business. Businesses create real job, wealth, increase exports, and make the country uh, competitive. So what is the role of the government here? How can it, be, how can it encourage business? Uh, the first uh, step consists uh, in not blocking or burdening business development. Uh, the government should uh, ensure a healthy and fair competition environment uh, where every businessman is guaranteed uh, equal rights. So FDI will be of utmost importance to our country for the next decades. So this is why we decided to place the uh, uh, Georgian, uh, Georgian uh, National Investment Agency under the direct supervision of the Prime Minister. So this is the decision that I wanted to share with you. and. Uh, this is a change uh, we made. Uh, uh, previously, the agents reported to a board uh, chaired by the head of the partnership fund. So it created a lot of uh, questions, and uh, it was pretty unclear. Uh, and, but I think that this uh, transition will help it uh, to have better leverage during uh, investment negotiations and to be more effective in supporting FDI projects within the country. The agency will contribute uh, to better coordination. Coordination, this is the... Uh, this is key uh, among uh, the ministries, uh, as well as ensure their 
easier access uh, for all investors at all levels. And when I mean all, I mean all, uh, including me myself. And finally, I want to address one more challenge, awareness. Uh, I would not be exaggerating if I said that uh, despite the regional challenges, we have a far better investment and business uh, environment in our, in our country uh, than uh, other countries. But as a small country, of course, we don't have enough exposure uh, to the global business audience. The post-Soviet legacy, as we say, comes uh, with a whole array of uh, you know, discouraging labels such as uh, corruption, uh, criminality, or uh, bureaucracy. And uh, we still have to struggle to prove that this is not uh, our reality, although uh, Georgia is a completely different country today. As it, as it was you know, 10 years ago, I mentioned earlier, or 20 years ago, or two years ago, we made a huge step forward. Uh, so this is precisely why working on awareness is so important. And this is why this uh, meeting is so important with you. Uh, this is why we, we count on your support uh, for introducing Georgia as an investment and business destination to the outside uh, world. And ultimately, you are the key people whose role is to share unbiased and trustworthy information outside the country. And you are the real opinion makers in your respective uh, professional circles. So I'm aware that uh, you get lots of information from various sources, uh, from local uh, liaisons, from the uh, press, from different political parties, uh, and etc. Uh, and I hope that I can contribute also by providing you uh, henceforth also uh, with uh, information directly from the uh, government in an open and transparent manner. Uh, so it is also critical that I can benefit uh, from your feedback. This is also in interesting, very important for me to know uh, what's your uh, opinion. So this is why we wanted to make uh, uh, this meeting, to organize this meeting, to uh, uh, talk to you about this, uh, uh, once again, about the investment opportunities in our country and about this change. So before I close and give the floor to Mr. Bataille, uh, I'd like to thank you uh, for attention. I'd like to thank you for coming and attending this meeting, and um, I look forward to working with you. Thank you.